Today we are taking a look at the Transformers Generation Selects Tricranius Beast Power Fire Blast Collection. Wow, that's a lot of words. A multicolored fossilizer, Tricranius shares a number of parts with Ractonite, but comes with over a dozen blast effects. He also looks like what happens when you leave a bag of gummy worms sitting on your car's dashboard for far too long on a sunny day. When we get back, we're going to take a look at him, so stick around. And here we go. I'm going to open up the box here. And the one thing I do like is just the color image on the inside. That really sets it apart from other figures in the Generation Selects. Although I've, I, I haven't gotten anything out of Legacy, so I don't know if this is a common thing now. The other thing they did was uh, it, it's, a, it's less plastic, more cardboard. So uh, other than the little strips I had to cut, um, there, there's very little plastic. This is the Blast Effects box cardboard insert. The instructions and the Don't Hurt Yourself paper. And look at that maximal signal at the bottom. Or emblem, Ma maximal emblem. Yeah. Nothing too else fancy about the box that you haven't already seen. So in this box is the Blast Effects. Uh, they were originally in uh, paper, in like wrapping paper. Or I, I don't know what you call that, that, that uh, very thin, like you wrap it in gift paper. And uh, there's over a dozen Blast Effects. And uh, I thought maybe this one came in quite a dozen. So this one is like a bottom exhaust one, I guess. And you can start like mounting these things together. And I think at some point this one basically becomes the blast effect that was with like um, Jetfire. So like you get that or, or what was the other one? Um, Skylinks. So, you know, you get, you get one of these. And then let's see if we can make something else. Uh... Nope. Oh yeah, okay, it does fit. Oh, and that fit well, okay, well here. Let's try this one. We make this blast effect. Uh, it looks like a gun firing rather than a, like a rocket blasting off, but there you go. Uh, obviously you can mix and match colors if you wanted to. Here's the general, like, small explosion. A couple uh, little impact explosions. Uh, another little one, another smaller coned one even smaller coned one this reminds me of the one that comes with scourge and the sweeps so i'm kind of like well where's the rest of it i don't know how it would connect it probably goes inside or something there's just two five million let's see oh well there you go then this is exactly it isn't it so there's that another one of these so it's it's basically what i call it gets put away to never touch it again because I don't really use blast effects. Although maybe if I start taking pictures or doing scenery with them, maybe I'll use them. But uh, yeah, that, that's really all there is with the blast effect box. So here is Tricranius. Uh, he stands awkwardly. And you see I have uh, the uh, this Ractonite over here. And they're generally the same figure, except obviously colors. And the head sculpt for the dinosaur motor is different uh, because this one's a Triceratops. And I forget what this one is actually called. It's a job for somebody who's really a lot more into the nuances of dinosaurs and paleontology in general. But uh, essentially, if you just count the head here, you're looking at his robot form. And as a fossilizer, he obviously comes apart and becomes like Ractonite. And we can start taking in pieces. And let's see, I'm trying to, I'm going to try to do it visually by looking at him. Because obviously here is the head and this little piece comes down. So you, you see, again, I'm, as I'm going to show off the similarities as we go along here. Uh, otherwise, this will be a very short, short review. And um, we can see how this is connected here. Maybe I'd adjust it a little bit. Come on. So we already got the front part done. And then <clears throat> I'm just getting over a cold, so 
going to cough a little bit. His legs just go straight on here. Apparently. Although they are a little bit different. Because there's uh, caps on them. But then again, I might be looking at the back legs. Oh, and I am. These are the back legs. So here, let's stick these guys aside. We'll get to them in a little bit. This comes off. It's actually the tail. This comes off. And uh, this will be a front leg. And this will be a front leg. And uh, just make sure wherever the waffle part on is the part that goes under inside of it. So you don't have the waffles on the outside. See, you're already halfway there. As we continue on. Kind of remember how things go together. Uh, there is this piece here that where the tail connects. And let's see, we'll do it like this. And it goes into the slot here. Oops. I don't know this. This is kind of loose for me. I don't know if anybody else has it. Well, actually, that was getting in there was really tight, but the rest of it's kind of loose. And then under here it shows this piece going into here. So that way we have a place to connect the leg. Gotta make sure I got it right. Yeah, this looks right. If it isn't right, then it's backwards. Here we go. And then we put the legs on again, waffles on the inside. Waffles on the inside. Straighten them up. And uh, here we go. You, you can see the clear differences. Um, again, the really only, again, difference is this guy's here. Everything else is pretty much the same. So the back side here. Just the side again. Oh, let's go to the other side. Of course, he has the Predacon symbol. I actually don't know where his Maxwell symbol is. Although, with all these colors, I'd be lucky if I could find it. Oh. Uh, here's the underneath. And... <laughs> some people might be asking, why would you get basically the same figure again? Well, because of the freaking heads. They're different dinosaurs. And uh, when I was little, and still to this day, I love dinosaurs. And the fact that dinosaurs are crossing over with Transformers makes it worth me getting. Especially with the announcement of the Wreckers dinosaurs. So while I may not necessarily care about the regular Transformers in those sets, I'm buying them for the fossilizers because I want the dinosaurs. And that is Tricranius. He is a Ractonite refit with a different head. Making this guy a Triceratops, which is perfectly fine. And if you want to collect all of the fossilizers, there's raptors, there's pterodactyls, there are pterosaurs, beast wars. I mean, if you're just looking for fossilizers, there's multiple types right now. I, I think it's, if, if you don't count necessarily three horns as just one group, there's Ractonite, there is Tricranius, there's Wingfinger, there's... Pretty much anything that is the raptor form, which there's at least four figures of. Then there's the little guys, um, who are the uh, core class ones. I cannot remember all of their names. And then the two coming in the Wrecker set. Master Dominus in particular is interesting because I believe he has this body, maybe longer legs, and two huge tusks, which just makes him fantastic. But uh, let me know if you're collecting some fossilizers. Do you like them? Do you like dinosaurs? Put that in the comments. Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.